Hey guys, so we're going to do a video on uh, INTP and INFJ differences. Jackson's INTP, Rachel's an INFJ, and I'm an INFJ as well. Um, I love that. So, um, uh, what sort of main differences do you guys notice? Well, as Jackson was saying earlier, P's are really lazy. <laughs> you're not lazy till you're a P. Yeah, um. <laughs> <laughs> of course. No, I'm just saying, how would you justify that, that you're, you know, claiming that it's down I to your time? I can go, oh gee, I'm hungry, oh, I don't feel like getting food, that takes too much effort, and ah. then not get food, or <laughs> I've always joked with Ian that P's procrastination, not perceiving, because it's always uh, like, I'm yeah. always like, I can do that later, or in the back of my mind, I know it's never, but like, <laughs> it's, it's later to me. So you're like lying to yourself for the yes, sake of present yes. <laughs> It's like, no, that doesn't matter, yeah, it does, I should yeah. do that, and then, <laughs> okay. like, oh, I can have a stack of crap on my desk that I know I should have moved a month ago, and then I think... <laughs> I'll just chuck a few more things on it and get rid of it next week. <laughs> not, not, this isn't like filthy crap, if it's unhygienic I freak out, but like I'll scrunch up a piece of paper and chuck it in my huge pile of piece of paper and I'm like, mm -hmm. I should get rid of that and I'm like, oh but you know, the garbage day is not for another thing. <laughs> so I'll leave it and, and it just never happens and then mm -hmm. a year later I'm like, oh my goodness. A like, year? <laughs> that's only happened twice. Um, <laughs> Two years. <laughs> no, no, different things <laughs> okay. that I've put away and <laughs> forgotten, forgotten about <laughs> and then actually <laughs> forgotten about and come back and go on, shit, <laughs> I should have dealt with this. <laughs> so, uh, would you describe that as like, you're doing it for the benefit of present to you? Yes. Do you think you live in the present? Um, <laughs> I do so more now than I used to and okay. I've got better with this stuff over the years, like I'm yeah. a lot less procrastination based than I used to be. Mm -hmm. I think that's just part of maturation, but yeah. it's still always in the back of my mind, always, like, even when I know I have to do something, I'm like, oh, but I could leave it, mm -hmm. and then I go, no, I have to do this, and then, you know, 30% of the time I'll still go, no, nah, that doesn't need to happen. <laughs> Alright, well, what you were saying earlier about um, being a J and being organised, mm. do you think that you are organised for the sake of future you? I was, when you were talking about that, yeah. I relate about heaps yeah. because it's like, me too. yeah, I do things, yeah, for this sake, because it's like, yes, it's like, it, even when it comes down to assignments, I'm like, well, I don't want my future me to stress out yes. you know, a day before getting it done, so I'll do it done, get it done now. Yes. Something else is like, lists are my best friend, like lists and dot points, like, I, I, I make lists for everything. Me too. Like, if you, like, do you, every, anything that can be made a list out of, oh, I've probably made it, just because... And how, like, I generally, if I'm really passionate about something, I follow through on it really all the time. But I need that list there to like, and I love ch like tick boxes. Like if I can tick off, okay, I did that oh, today. I get like, yeah, I get like a sense of satisfaction from that. Uh -huh. Do you, are you similar in that way? I actually just realized I didn't cross that thing up here. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I, when I had anxiety revolving around study at the end of year 12. Mm. I did lots and lots of lists. Yeah. But I think the reason I developed that sort of anxious perspective was mm. because I saw myself as doomed. Yeah, okay, <laughs> And yeah. I was like, I really want to help future me. I really want to help future me. Mm. But I didn't see a way that I could do it very well. Yeah. <laughs> and I freaked out and I developed my loop and <laughs> I just didn't find a solution and mm. it stressed me out a lot, which led to a lot of my stress. Mm. Um, All of your child was an aloof for me. <laughs> yep, okay. totally. On that future me thing, mm. I do think that way, but only with certain things. It's, okay. I probably prioritise stuff differently. Mm. Um, I can't think of an example at the moment, but like with the untidiness thing, mm. that's the kind of lazy that I am. Yeah. Like if it, it's something that needs to happen, otherwise it will actually be detrimental, I'll mm. do it. Mm. Like no questions asked. Mm. But stuff that I don't see is important, even if someone else would, I'll just completely ignore. Yeah. Um, a little less so now. But, um, so, yeah, like with uh, untidiness and, um, I've completely lost my train of thought. I'll come back to that later, maybe. That's alright. Yeah, yeah. I, do, I do have the, oh, well, how will this help me in the future mindset? But it's with You've a... You've got different priorities. Yeah, it's with a different set of things. Yeah.
on the topic of assignments and stuff like even when it like for uni if I've got an assignment due a certain day I'll calculate how many words I put in each like paragraph and then I'll calculate how many days to the assignments due so how many words I need to write each day wow. like I that's, do not do that. that's how like down to <clears throat> detail and I think maybe for INFJs like um, that's how we find peace with things because it's like that's like plan uh, that's like organized chaos for us yeah mm. I, I have a similar order thing but like mm. for example at work since I work in hospitality everything's on rotation mm. so like you know the glasses that are being washed are on rotation the racks that carry the glasses are on rotation mm. um, the customers are on rotation the food is you know mm. sort of on rotation um, well definitely the tables that everyone's sitting on so I have a certain way that I like things yeah. The other people that I work with aren't like that. But mm. I like having solved those things. Yeah. Because it makes me feel like I can do everything more efficiently. <laughs> yeah. So there are like two white racks. The rest of them are black. No particular reason. None at all. The white ones are slightly thicker though. So I like to have them in the dishwasher because they hold heavier things better. So everyone else likes to put the white racks. They don't care where. They just put them everywhere. And I'm like, look. I like these staying in that section. If they get moved out, I put them back in the dishwashing section. And if they stay there, I'm happy. It's so weird. It's just a strange, like, borderline OCD thing. I was going to say. I but for me, it makes sense for the efficiency of things. So, mm. like, there are two different kinds of glasses as well. Mm. And so, um, the two different kinds of glasses have to be on their own racks that match all the other glasses. Because I need to be able to stack them... Um, in the way that you know the glasses are matching, yeah, yeah, yeah. so otherwise you can't stack glasses that don't match. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. So I need to be able to carry as many glasses as I can to the table mm. if it's a big group. Yeah. Or the bottles that have lids need to be at the back because they're touched less and they won't have crap fall in them. I sound like such a lunatic. Well, like organizational uh, practices, I mm. suppose, for the sake of efficiency, mm. they really yeah. just help. Be mm. organized. Yeah, okay, there you go. I that's, don't know. That's such that's a loony thing that you probably think is ridiculous. No, no, no I, I don't do because I don't work in hospitality. Right, but not if I need to wake up early the next morning, I'll mm. take my socks out of each other, put them in my shoes, oh. and like leave them near the door. And yep. that sort of thing. I'll do that sort of thing to benefit my future self. Yeah. Like because it matters. Uh -huh. And really anything that decreases my stress. When and I'm time. Stressed. Yeah, so yeah, 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 uh, yeah. an assignment that I had recently, I needed <clears> to do two different presentations for, and I had no idea which one was first, and I didn't, I couldn't structure them, and I wouldn't even if I could. Mm. Like, I need to do this many words for this one, but then I just thought, alright, whatever, and I spent the next six hours just researching both of them like heaps, yeah. Yeah. and then I thought, great, now I'm prepared either way, and I'm not going to have to worry about that then. Mm. But yeah, other things that I don't see as important, I won't prepare ahead for. Okay, mm. yeah. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> what if you were, for example, moving a house? Would you, like, Last time pack moved, gradually? Or would you just do it all? I moved, I was packed a week and a half before Jeez. I had to move. Far out. I had, like, a bed with a sheet on it and just <laughs> boxes. For a week? <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. See, and that's what I was going to say is... It's interesting how each type like prioritizes or whatever certain um, details of things like INFJ is obviously very like in like in like the sen the physical environment like we miss details a lot of times and stuff but then with things that matter we notice other mm -hmm. things like really down to detail so it's interesting seeing like what where certain types have inconsistencies about things and how those sort of come out because J is like. We're organised in some areas and other areas not. Yeah. Um, it depends where we prioritise. Yeah. But I was going to say, the OCD thing is definitely... Maybe it's not even OCD, it's just obsession. Um, but INFJs seem to have it, like, in school whenever... Because whenever you sat next to me, if I drew something on your page, you'd be like, oh, and you're, like, trying to raise it, yeah, as much as possible. Or I know an INFJ from church, and we for youth we had lists of names, and she'd just cross them out. And I would instead do a squiggle, and oh, she got so frustrated. So she just started raging, and I knew, <laughs> but that annoys me, so I just did it to her. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it didn't belong to you, disgusting. it didn't matter. But yes. Because it was, yeah. Because one of her quirks. 